Netfam, if you were about to die, what would your last words be? This is an interesting question and I'm about to show you the craziest last words of convicts on death row. For starters, words that sound more like a bad restaurant review. In 1995, Thomas Grasso committed double murder and was sentenced to lethal injection. He had quite a big surprising menu for his last meal. But the real surprise were his final words. I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I only got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. From a food hater to this next one, an unexpected music enthusiast. Douglas Roberts was up for lethal injection in 2005 after being found guilty of kidnapping, robbery and murder. For his final words he wrote song lyrics. I've been hanging around this popsicle stand way too long. When I die, bury me deep, lay two speakers on my feet, put some headphones on my head and rock and roll me when I'm dead. A musical criminal. But what about one of America's most vicious serial killers? John Wayne Gacy, aka the Killer Clown, who was murdering people dressed as a clown. Can you guess what his last words were? A. Sayonara b B. Bon voyage. C. Kiss my a D. Goodbye world, goodbye universe. E. The last laugh is mine. Short and not so sweet, but speaking of sweetness, it was affection that motivated Mary Blandy to give her father a love potion that would make him like the love of her life, except that substance ended up poisoning her father, leading Mary to be sentenced for death row. Before being hanged though, she didn't say an apology or even a goodbye message to the man she loved. Instead, she was more worried that people might peep under her dress. And so she said, For the sake of decency, gentlemen, don't hang me high. And if she was decent until her death, the next man is a total opposite. German serial killer Peter Curtin, also known as Vampire of Dusseldorf, had one final question to his psychiatrist before getting beheaded. Tell me, after my head has been chopped off, Will I still be able to hear, at least for a moment, the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That gave me chills. And finally, murderer Richard Aaron Cobb was executed by lethal injection in 2013. His last words were very simple, as if his life was not about to end. And I'll give you five options to guess from. Was it, can I have bacon for breakfast? Wow, this is great. Thank you, Warden. Haha, <laughs> it tickles. Would you like a cup of coffee, Warden? Or was it, this bed is awesome? He said, wow, this is great. Thank you, Warden. Wow. These are very crazy final words. And so, after hearing all of this, let me ask you again, Nightfam. What would you say if you knew you were about to die?